Hey y'all, let's check out Luann's magical world. Hey y'all, I'm Shy in Second Life and today we're going to look around Luann's magical world. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. We check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. If you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So y'all, when I come to a land, I always do a quick overview and then I go home and I put an outfit together. When I stepped through the portal on this land, I immediately went home and I came up with this outfit. So this is the outfit for today. It's like a little milkmaid outfit. Got the little horns. If the entrance to this place is a precursor of what this land entails, we are definitely in for a treat. Got these cute little shoes from Tentacio. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because that's literally just, that's what I see when I see the name. So anywho, let's go look around. So I am in the shared environment and this land is not TP friendly. Look how adorable this is though. They have like the little heart paths with all of the flowers around so come on you guys are you guys ready for this let's go look at this you guys what what am i in the shared environment i am in the shared environment i don't even know if i said that i know i told you guys that this place is not tp friendly look at this oh this place has a teleport system and I have been around to the other locations and I don't know why I did not check this place out but I came here last night and as soon as I dropped down I was like yeah we're definitely checking this place out. Look at how cute this is with the little mechanical bee. I wanted to say that it gives, these. this is the flower thing I was telling you guys about when I first came across these mesh flowers, how they do have oversized flowers like this, but the mesh flowers are definitely something different. Um, the land is so, uh, I don't know why I never came across this place because I venture around to all the other places that they had and they're all very aesthetically pleasing. This definitely, I wanted to say it had like an Alice in Wonderland type vibe to it, but it's so like magical. Like to me, it's kind of like beyond Alice in Wonderland. It doesn't have that as of yet, that kind of kooky creepy type feeling to it like for me Alice in Wonderland like gives me those vibes and this is just pure just enchanted fantasy so well put together oh when I saw this place the colors the shared environment is amazing it's so perfect for this land everything is so beautiful beautiful pops of color and things like that i feel like if the shared environment was any brighter it would kind of take away from the lighting i don't think the lighting um like the sparkle lights would be as pronounced with a brighter um shared environment so i think that this shared environment is absolutely perfect i love all of the huge bunnies and the flowers and the little vines with all the sparkles oh i love these i forgot what you call these but somebody said these have like medicinal qualities and if if you know you know we, we've been wasting it for the most part just blowing it into the air look at how cute this is we listen we haven't even gotten into it at all and i was just like i couldn't get beyond as soon as i dropped down i was like yes i put this outfit together a while ago and i was like i had it for a different land and then when i went to the land again i was like i don't want to wear this for this land and so i was waiting to find a land where it would be more fitting and i feel like this land it is absolutely fitting look at the little sleeping rabbit with the little cranberries oh how adorable is this okay okay i have to compose myself so i love the look of this land it is so beautiful all of the animals are 
gigantic at first i thought it might have just been the bunny rabbits but now i see this beautiful baby deer oh so pretty i love the fog i love everything about it everything about it i love how because everything is so like enchanted and has this really nice whimsical vibe to it the oversized animals are not like scary in any type of way it's just like oh they're huge like a fantasy so i really like that they have some seating over here i think the pictures here would be absolutely amazing it has a very springtime slash summer vibe to it and i really do like that i love this i love how it has a little fog in the back so i don't know how large this space is but it it has something to see every single step of the way i love how the fog um it it makes you want to walk into the land you don't get any chance for anything to kind of like elude allude to like a different space it's just like you gotta walk and see you have to go beyond the fog to kind of see what's going on so we have more seating spaces here i like how they have the animals surrounded so that regardless of where you sit at the pictures are going to be beautiful i don't know which way to walk i just i don't i don't know how long this video is going to be we're, we're going to try to keep it short and sweet but I definitely want us to look at some of everything because I love this. And you know what? I talked about it. There was a time where just about every land I was going to was enchanted. I haven't been to like a really, really enchanted land lately. So I was really happy that I came across this. We've gone to like fantasy lands and things like that. And this does have like an enchanted fantasy type vibe. But done up like this, no. It's it's been a it's been a minute since I've actually come across a space. More seating spaces. So it's like they set up the seating spaces for you to be able to take pictures in them. Look at how pretty this is look at how pretty this is they have like dining options so like if you wanted to take a picture you can take a oh i love it i love it this can have all different types of role play and i think that is amazing beautiful seating options it has seating for is this six yeah six so it could be three couples six individual people um, that are not couples these are plates that give you food these are the um i believe these plates are from bazaar they have that bizarre um look to them beautiful peacocks look at this look at the feathers uh when i tell you guys i love exploring with y'all are y'all noticing we are growing we are growing you guys i can't believe what we are creating the community that we are creating is amazing i am so thankful for each and every one of you tuning in and going on these adventures with me i really really enjoy them every single time i never ever get bored i love spending time with you guys i love 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 reading the comments I love the comments. I love being able to interact with y'all and to be able to see names of people who are new and names of people who have um, been subscribed to my channel and they're just, you know, letting me know that they enjoy the, um, the content still. I really appreciate that. This is like a spooky elf. Now, this is like the first thing where I'm like, mm, I don't know, but he, he, he looks adorable. So I don't know. More scenic spaces over here. Or they have a different one with a different, like a little mushroom. I love this. So yeah, I'm like, when I get to 500 subscribers, more seating space. I love the butterflies. I do want to come up with a name for us. I have some names that I was thinking of and I've had some suggestions as well, but I wanna do, I'm gonna do a poll. And then we'll pick out, we'll figure out a name. Now, if y'all get crazy with the names, I don't know, we might, we might have to combine them and make just something very, very special for us. But I do have a, a couple names um, that I have in mind, but 
I want you guys to be a part of that as well. The name picking. So this is so pretty. Beautiful little seating space with the little flower. All of the sparkles are so pretty. I love the trees. Oh, we have a couple coming. It's so pretty. It's very coupley. This is a really nice romantic place. Let me get out their way so they can come because they're pausing like, I don't want to be in the way. This cute little, is this like a firefly? This gives me, oh God, what's his name? Gosh, what was his name that was on um, the Princess Frog movie? I forgot his name and I loved him. He was one of my favorite characters. But yeah, it's so pretty here. I just was, I was sitting and I was thinking, I'm like, I can't believe, every time I, I love how, side note, I love how you can't tell what's going on, even when you pan up. I love lands like that, where it's like, you really have to explore. It is very difficult to create, oh, I don't know if it's difficult or people just don't do it. It, I don't see a lot of lands. Oh, look at how cute, protecting them from the rain. If it was raining. A lot of times people will make it where the lands are cute, but if you pan up, you can see everything that's going on. Um, I love the lands where when they, when you pan up, you still can't see what's going on. You really have to explore because people will just stand in one space and look around and then that'll be it. So this definitely gives you the opportunity to really be able to explore the spaces and to really get a nice overview of what the land has to offer. I've been in Second Life for a while and this is one of my absolute favorite things to do. I love just being able to experience creators minds, you know, just to see how they think and the way that they envision different themes to be so like whoever created this land or whomever came together to create this land they thought of enchanted fantasy in a different type of way than another creator would and i just really like being able to be a part of that creativity and these spaces are just so special in my opinion that I feel like it's such a joy to be able to go around and explore and there's not there's not a lack of it every space in Second Life is created by people who wanted to share their vision and just how their mind works and what they deem to be beautiful and I'm just so happy that I get to be a part of that. This space definitely gives me like a ancient royal type fantasy vibe. I love all the statues. I love them, love them, love them. Like I said, in Second Life, it's, it's going to be some type of nudity. Don't, don't ask me why. That's just, that's just really, really how it is. That's really how it is. And for anybody watching this that is not in Second Life and just like, mm, what's this video about? Give Second Life a try. And when I tell you, you get so desensitized to seeing people nude in the oddest places. It is laughable in a way, but at the same time, it's just like, it's not like a actual human being nude it's like oh these are avatars so they're different even though people look very lifelike it's just a different kind of feel to it it's like you know you're not like a human human it's like an avatar like human so it's always like that type of thing so it, you do become a little desensitized to it but because second life is a space for adults um it is a part of Second Life. This is so pretty. The birds and the bird baths. I love all of the pinks and the reds and the tinges of yellow. I love the green. I love everything. All of the animals have a really nice look to them. They all look very, very friendly. Nobody, no animals or statues look like eerie or creepy. They all look 
very like enchanted and welcoming and i really do like that this is such a cool space although this is a moderate land it feels romantic and you can take your children to any place that's moderate of course but i do kind of feel like sometimes you'll, the moderate lands are still for adults you know what i'm saying so time flies when you're having fun so stay tuned for part two make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time